Okay, so do you remember your your feeling uh, when you started this project and how that feeling changed now that you've gone through the project? Um, did you quite understand what you were getting into and did you see something in a different light when it was finished? I think that we didn't really know what we were getting into as far as, we knew the science behind it and we'd done a similar project to this before. So I think it was more refreshing as far as us learning the science, but I think teaching it to other students, like our peers, was really interesting. I think we learned a lot about how to communicate the science um, and it was a different way of looking at it. So I think that was different. What do you guys think? I was, I went into this not exactly prepared for how much work it was. I knew the science and I'd done the project before, just like Emma had, and I thought it was going to be, okay, I'm usually good at public speaking and teaching stuff to kids. I like to do tutoring. This shouldn't be a problem. I didn't know all the work that goes in behind preparing lessons. Like, I have so much more respect for Dr. Eads after preparing all those bins. <laughs> to take over there so that we could just go straight into it. I I did not realize how much time and effort goes into that. And it, it gives you a new air of respect for your teachers. It's not easy. Yeah, like they've all said, like, <laughs> I've done like all these procedures before many times at Vanderbilt, but I never taught them before or organized it. Like she also said like tutoring kids, like when you tutor someone, they bring their stuff to you and you don't take it to them, but actually packing and testing beforehand was very different. and. Since I've like, never taught people before, I like this ideal dream in my head, like what it's going to be like. <laughs> when I went to like, the first day, like Deshaun's like drinking lab water, I'm like, no, I wasn't expecting that at all. So I'm like, whoa, there's, there's some learning to do. So that was an experience. What is, um, what's different about doing science versus communicating science in terms of your own scientific literacy? Did you find that the act of communicating it, the synthesizing, the putting it together in a way that you would never done before. Did that affect your own scientific literacy? I feel like I'm better at being able to relate what we're doing verbally now. Like, it, it, anyone can follow a lab procedure and go through and do the steps, and but it doesn't mean you know what you're doing. But this project has taught me how to take what I do and to tell people about it. Like, I can relate it now. And I've also applied that to other science projects I've done. Looking back on it, I realize stuff we did last year, better ways I could communicate those projects now. And going into a science field in college, I feel like this is gonna help me a lot. Because a big thing you have to do is be able to communicate your work. Because if you can't explain to people what you're doing, then why you can't, it's like you didn't even do it. Why do science at all then? Yeah. <laughs> 